Today we are going to talk about permissions, but more importantly, how to correctly implement them in your code. And we're going to go through several steps of what you might understand permissions to be uh, to finally give you an answer that you probably always wanted to hear. So the first type of permission or access control that you might understand within your application is admin and not admin. As your system grows and more people start to use your app or your system, well, you decide that you need more control over what your users do. So then you start to implement admin and not admin and you go up a level and say that, well, there is now going to be a super admin and that super admin is going to have the permissions to perform more than your administrator. And then you set up the two if condition. If you are a super admin, well, you can do this. And then if you are an admin, you can do this. And then anyone else, well, you can just do whatever else that you're not supposed to do as a super admin or an administrator. Now, if you actually think about this, this doesn't give you much flexibility in the long run. How many of these if statements will you have to write? And it's not the right way to manage permissions in your app. So let's actually go on to the second option of what maybe you might understand permission management as. Now in the second option, you are a little bit more strategic. Within most authentication solutions nowadays, you do get that slight control of what you might think authorization is, which is providing and assigning specific roles to users and suddenly you're like, yes, this is it. I've got my permission management in place and uh, everyone is going to have the right access. But actually what you're doing in your authentication solution, what you are actually doing is just providing the roles, but how are you enforcing it? And suddenly you're thinking, well, I thought, but just giving them the role, suddenly it's going to come into place. Well, no, it doesn't work like that. Unfortunately, you have to enforce those permissions within your code and you still haven't done so. So what do you go to do? Well, you say, well, in this piece of code, I'm going to say that if someone is the super admin, then do this. If someone is a madman, then do that. If someone is a manager, then do that. If someone is a viewer, then do this. But still that enforcement in your code is not there and you still have to write that. So then when it actually comes to scaling the thing, it quickly becomes really insufficient. So now after all this, you might be asking, but Philip, how do I write correct access control within my application? Well, let me tell you. So for all of you that may not know, there is a company out there that is called Permit. And Permit is a full stack authorization solution. So it allows you to register your users and sync them into their platform. And then you can create as many roles as you want. But on top of that, not only that you can assign those roles to those users, but you can define policies for those roles. Meaning that an administrator can have many resources that he can act on. So you can create resources and actions for a specific role. And then you can tick all the boxes with a no code UI to create your policies, to actually create the rules for the enforcement. And then when you go into your application, you just uh, enforce all those conditions with the permit.check function, passing in that user, passing in that action, passing in that resource, and you're good to go. The great thing about this is that when you then decide that perhaps someone on your team might not be allowed to have the permissions they have right now, you actually don't create a pull request in the code to change something and change the logic that maybe you've previously defined. You actually go into the permit no code editor, you just untick the permissions that you don't want that role to have, and you save those changes. And suddenly it continues to work within your app. So permit is extremely scalable. It allows you to have granular permissions and it's really a great long-term solution. So I hope that gave you a little bit of understanding about permissions and how you might see it in the future. So hopefully now when you actually go and create your application, you're going to create an application and start with the perfect solution for authorization. I'll see you in the next one.